Hi everybody, welcome to Cardiologist. Previously I performed the first exercise in this course of basic AutoCAD tutorials step by step, implementing most of the tools I explained to you guys before. By now, you should be more familiar with AutoCAD commands, their location on the interface and functions, so that I will be less explanatory and drawing a little bit faster in the upcoming exercises. If you have doubts about the use of any tool, you can always go back to the previous tutorials to learn more about it. Before you continue with this tutorial, I hope you subscribe to the channel and click on the alert button to receive my latest. In this video, we will draw and dimension together this object. When you open AutoCAD, click on Start Drawing from the interface. If the grid is activated, turn it off from the status bar or use F7 key to turn it off and on. Type units in the command line and make sure drawing unit type is decimal, precision is zero, draw units is millimeter. Type LA to open layer properties manager and create a layer named object. Create another layer for dimensioning Change the dimension layer color to gray number 8. Double click the object layer to set it as the current layer, then close layer properties manager. Make sure ortho mode is activated. Click on this little arrow of OSNAP and check endpoint, midpoint and center point. Before you start drawing, be sure to save the file and keep doing that from time to time to avoid losing your drawing and effort by mistake. If you are saving for the first time, click on Save from the Quick Access Toolbar. Choose the file location and type the name. Then click on Save. Click on the Application button Click on Options, go to Open and Save tab, in the File Safety Precautions, make sure Automatic Save is checked and at every 10 minutes. Moreover, you can click on Ctrl plus S to save your progress anytime you want. Type REC to activate the Rectangle command. Specify the first corner point somewhere here. Click on Dimensions, then type 60 for the length and hit Enter, and 80 for the width and hit Enter again. Specify the other corner point in any direction you want. Repeat the same steps to draw another rectangle at this endpoint mark of 100 mm length and 50 mm width. Move this rectangle 15 mm downward. Window select the rectangles and type TR to activate trim command. Trim this part and click space to end the command. To combine the objects into one, select them and type J for join. Activate chamfer from modify panel or through the shortcut CHA. Click on distance and specify the first chamfer distance 5 mm and hit space. The second chamfer will be of the same distance, so just click on space again. Type M for multiple. I will chamfer this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. Activate fillet command from modify panel. Type R for radius, then 10 mm. Click on multiple, fill it this corner and this corner. Draw 40 by 20 mm rectangle at this endpoint mark. Select the rectangle and move it downward 5 mm and to the right 10 mm. Chamfer all edges with a distance of 2.5 mm. 
Select the rectangle and type MIR to activate mirror command. Specify the first point of mirror line at this midpoint mark and the second point anywhere in this direction. Draw a 90 by 10 mm rectangle somewhere here. Then do 5 mm fillet for the corners. Select the object and activate the move command through the shortcut M. Move the cursor to this part of the circle to display the center point mark and snap it. Move the cursor over this arc to display the center point mark. Click on it to place the object. Now select this object. Click on Array from Modify panel. Type 1 for number of columns and 3 for number of rows. And make sure the distance between the rows is 15 mm. Then click on Close Array. Go to OSNAP and activate Geometric Center Mode. Click on Circle from Draw Panel. Move the cursor over this rectangle boundary in order to display the center point mark and snap it to draw a 2 mm radius circle. Select the circle and move it upward 20 mm. Dimensioning Select the object boundary and activate offset command through the shortcut OFF. Specify offset distance to be 10 mm. This object will be used just as a reference to place the dimensions for better appearance of the drawing. Go to properties and change the color to gray number 9. By the way, you can access the properties palette through control plus 1. From Properties Palette, change the layer to Dim for dimensioning. Type D and hit Space to open Dimension Style Manager. Click on New and type Dim01. Then Continue. In the Lines tab, make sure Baseline Spacing is 3.75, Extend Beyond Dimension Lines 1.25, Offset from original, 1. In the Symbols and Arrows tab, change arrow size to 1.8. Make sure dimension break size is 3.75. And go to Text tab. Change text height to 1.8. In the Text Placement field, make sure vertical is set to above and horizontal is set to centered. Change the offset from dimension line to 1. In the text alignment field, check horizontal. In the fit tab, make sure overall scale is selected and the value is 1. In the primary units, set the precision of linear dimensions to 0 and the same for angular dimensions. Click OK and close. Go to annotate tab and click on Linear. Start the dimensions from this endpoint mark. Type DIMC for Dimension Continue command and click Space to dimension this part, this part, and this part. Type DLI for Linear Dimension, then dimension this corner. Activate Dimension Continue command as before, then click here and here. Repeat the same steps to dimension this side. And this side too. Click on this arrow and select Radius. Click on this arc and place the dimension at this midpoint mark. 
Select this dimension, then activate mirror command from modify panel. Specify the first point here and the second point somewhere in this direction. Type DIMR to activate radius dimension and measure this part of circle. Select diameter from this list and dimension the circle. Activate linear dimension and click on this midpoint mark. Go to OSNAP, check perpendicular mode, then click twice on this perpendicular mark. Now, just follow me dimensioning the inner parts of the object using the same tools. Here I will draw X lines for dimensioning reference. Then activate the intersection mode from OSNAP. So I could start dimensioning from this intersection mark. Mirror these dimensions to the upper rectangle. Then delete the X lines. Now we need to prepare the sheet to print the drawing. Go to layout sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click layout 1 and rename it to exercise 02. Right click exercise 02 and go to page setup manager where we can set the sheet size, orientation, quality and many other things. Click on modify. Change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure the paper size ISO full pleat A4 is selected. Check scale line weights. Make sure landscape orientation is selected. Then click on OK and close. Type V port and hit space. Choose single and click OK. I already explained to you guys about viewports in tutorial 3. The command line is asking to specify the first corner or just click on space for fit. If you go to layer properties manager, you could see a layer created automatically and named div points. It was generated when the first dimension was created in the drawing. This layer is imprintable and stores information about definition points of dimensions. It's usually used for the viewports and for any detail in the drawing you don't want to plot. So select the viewport and go to properties, then change its layer to div points. Now to print the drawing, we need to insert the title block we created together in tutorial 8 of this course. Remember, this block is a template for the sheet we want to print, and it involves imperative information to identify the drawing. So I will open exercise 01 that we did in tutorial 8 and copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select copy base. Specify the copy base point as mentioned in the command line. Click on this mark and go to exercise 02. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check 1 to 1. 
Double click inside the viewport, then click and hold the mouse scroll wheel to move the drawing to this corner. If the scale is changed while moving, you could simply adjust it back as we did before. Finally, click on the lock sign to lock the viewport and prevent any changes for the scale. If the title block includes a logo, and for some reason the logo disappears when you copy the title block from one drawing to another, we can help AutoCAD to locate the logo and resolve this issue by using the XREF command. This is my logo. Change the drawing title to Tutorial 09-Exercise 02. Change the scale if you have to and the date. Then change the drawing number to yt 4 youtube dash CAD for AutoCAD dash TT09 for tutorial 09 dash EX for exercise dash 002 for the exercise number. Click on Ctrl plus P to open plot setting. If this window pops up, just click on escape button. Click on preview to check out the drawing before making the printout. Click on print, choose a folder, type the file name and click on save. In this tutorial, you practiced using the rectangle command and many other tools from the modify panel, such as chamfer, fillet, mirror, array and copy base. I purposely tried to execute the commands from the ribbon as well as using the shortcuts in order for you guys to be more familiar with tools locations on the interface. Again, if you want to know more in detail about those commands and other tools in AutoCAD, I advise you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. I have two reminders for you. First, try to practice drafting on AutoCAD many times to become more familiar with the commands and faster in drawing. And second, Subscribe to my channel and click on the alert button to receive more examples to practice to cover and enhance your drawing skills.